What is up my Butter Biscuits? Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell by the title of the video, I have another cheese made video for you guys. So this is involving Jeffree Star. I feel like every single time I talk about Jeffree, I'm like, oh, it gets a little tiring because I know I always have to say it, but I say it that way people know the stands are just too, like, in their mind, Jeffrey can do no wrong. And it's so crazy to me because I feel like Jeffrey's the only one. Like, if I say something negative about James or Jacqueline or Manny or anybody else, everything is okay. But with Jeffrey specifically, it's like, whoo, you know, people just go crazy at you. So I do want to say, obviously, you guys, keep in mind thumbnails are meant to be a little clickbaity so obviously if you guys are looking that I do encourage you to watch the full video because I'm gonna go into details and my opinions and I feel it's necessary to hear my opinions before speaking out about it because every single time whenever I have something negative to say basically about Jeffrey people just like to you know they go a little crazy at me be like you're a Jeffrey hater and I'm like it's so crazy because if you watched all my videos you would know I do find him inspirational he's somebody that I feel like started from nothing and built an empire and is doing so good in life Life. And I've said it numerous amounts of times. For those of you that watch all of my videos, you're probably like, girl, we're tired of hearing it. But out of all the beauty gurus I've ever met, he is literally the sweetest. So the fact that people like to call me a Jeffrey hater just because I keep it very non-biased on my channel, it does get a little tiring at times. You get me? Because everyone has done something wrong in life. And if we like it's just crazy to me. It's just crazy that people get so crazy over it. You know, they get so defensive, and I'm like, girl. It's just makeup, it's just cheese man, it's really not that big of a deal. So anyways, I just wanted to put that out there before we jump into the video. So if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so that way you guys get notified when I upload a new video. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, that really does help me out in the algorithm. If you guys are a, you know, Tim hater, then go ahead and give it a thumbs down too because that still helps me out in the algorithm. So I'm still okay with that. Anyways, you guys, let's just go ahead and get right on into this. So. As you guys can tell by the title, the title and the thumbnail, um, Jeffree Star is basically being accused of stealing Lorax um, collections called the Royal Full Face Collection, which apparently came out in 2014. Um, and you know what's so crazy about this whole thing is just in case you guys did not know, I'm filming this right now. What's the date? It is April 14th, okay? And Jeffree Star's, uh, I was about to call it Royal Lust, Blood Lust Collection came out on February 21st and it's barely becoming a thing like today like it literally just barely became some drama right now and i'm like that's a little crazy i don't know if maybe the quarantine has people like digging for things or like just like really overlooking for things i don't know i'll be real with you i told you guys in my yesterday's video in my yesterday's video in yesterday's video um about me reading through jacqueline hill's cousin jacqueline hill cosmo what am i talking about jacqueline hill's comments and that's something that i normally don't do because i was bored obviously within this quarantine so maybe other people are doing that too um however Here's the thing that is just so trippy to me about this is if you guys are not into makeup or haven't been into makeup, Lorac has been around for a long time. They're sold at Kohl's. I think before they've been sold at like, um, was it Ulta or are they still sold at Ulta or Sephora? I don't know, but they've been sold in multiple stores and they're sold in Namie's as well too. You guys know that I, if you guys are in the LA area, Namie's is my favorite makeup store to shop at because I get a discount there. Y'all know I'm broke, so I need that discount, but they're still sold there. Lorac has been around for years and years and years. And this is something that I find so crazy that it's taken months for people to speak out on about it if, in fact, he is stealing their concept. And basically, okay, to give you guys some rundown on it, um, I got all this information from Reddit. You guys can actually just type in Jeffree Star Lorac, and I'm sure that'll pop up, and you guys can actually read the whole entire Reddit um, thing if you guys would like to. So this is what it says. Hippocrat... <laughs> Okay, just reading the first word and seeing the red stole, this is how you know, okay? For those of you guys watching this who always like to pounce on me whenever I have something to say about Jeffrey that's maybe not so positive, this would be a Jeffrey hater right here, okay? Not me. Uh, <laughs> Hypocrite. Jeffree Star stole Bloodlust from Lorax 2014 holiday collection, The Royal. Okay, and this is the thing I want to talk about it. It's so crazy because, look, I have this palette sitting right here, and I just threw out the uh, packaging. I was like, oh, I'm holding onto this packaging too long. It's getting all beat up, and let me just let it go. But I really, really found it so beautiful, so I held on to it. Um, I will say, look, there is some similarities about it, obviously, because it is a royal collection. It does have that um, design. I don't know what that design is called. What is it, like Victorian? I believe it's called Victorian. It has like a Victorian design around the edging of the box. And yeah, look, they're both royal. So you could say there is some similarities to it. However, in my personal opinion, we're talking about a palette 
versus something that's holding makeup. Like literally what this collection is, the Lorac collection is just holding makeup. Um, and that's pretty much it versus this is a palette. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and read the rest of it here. Jeffree Star has been quick to accuse other brands of stealing their ideas. That is true. Let's keep it real. He does do that a lot. Uh, actually, I have an opinion about that. I'm gonna get into later. However, it appears that his royalty theme Bloodlust collection was in fact stolen from Lorac's 2014 holiday collection, The Royal. Bloodlust has the same unusual hexagonal box, decorative artwork, crown motif, and velour covering as The Royal. See, that's the thing. I wish that I like Loki had that Lorac collection because I would like to know if it's like velour like this because looking at the picture and looking at the video it doesn't look like it's like this like that has that like i don't know this like velvet velour feel to it that i don't think that has but anyways so this is i guess it's so crazy like i'm tripped out about this because the whole conspiracy collection thing came out in november october and it's barely being brought up now so as they put right here in his second makeup series with star shane dawson was shown in jeffrey's office looking through palettes for inspiration one of those was lorax the royal proving uh, jeffrey star had knowledge of the collection before he decided to rip it off okay looking at this you guys can basically form your own opinion on it and be like oh my god did he rip it off you know what i mean is he really being shady in my personal opinion i will definitely say i do feel like he did have some sort of inspiration from it because there are obviously similarities however the person says inside here the unusual hexagon shape there are several other hexagon shaped palettes before jeffrey came out with this so i don't feel like that's too odd the only thing i will say is odd is because it's obviously royal and it does have that like victorian or venetian or i don't know I don't know. Look, y'all, I don't know nothing about design. I'm poor, okay? I don't know about that. But it does have that same type of design around the edging of the box. So I could say where people are saying that. But I don't think it's a ripoff because look at the collection. It's a face collection. It has loose eyeshadows and there are, sorry, not loose, single eyeshadows, a blush, a lipstick, a gloss, um, I believe a mascara and an eyeliner. You know what I mean? It's a completely different thing as to where this is a full-on palette. It's like literally a palette. So how could you say that it's a ripoff? I, I wouldn't say that it's a ripoff, but you know, to each their own, obviously everyone's gonna always talk trash. I will definitely say if anything, maybe he did know about it you know maybe he did get some sort of inspiration from that but maybe he did reach out to lorac before and say hey you know what i really like the theme of this do you guys mind if i do something similar you know what i mean which is totally fine we don't know about that and that's what i say it's very unusual that it's like three months later and it's barely popping out and lorac is a brand that's been around for the longest time so how come we haven't heard anything of it maybe jeffrey did reach out to them I don't know. Um, this is another thing that I wanted to tell you guys. So I don't even like talking about this too much because I feel like ugh, it's just so depressing. And I've talked about it for years and you guys are like, shut up. But it's a process that I actually went through. Um, I went through the whole lab, the whole manufacturing products and everything like that. I went through this whole entire process because it was my dream years ago to come out with a makeup brand. However, I did the first half of it, which was creating custom packaging, uh, custom design, as well as custom formulation. However, I couldn't follow through with the back end of actually paying for everything. I just paid for the initial part. I couldn't afford to pay for the rest of it. So I do know about this. And I do want to say in Jeffrey's defense, which you guys know this. I, hopefully you guys know this about me by now. I don't care to defend anybody because I'm not really like that that big of a stan of anybody you know the only person i think that i probably would really defend is robbie de Christie. there's just i don't know i just really like her i feel like i click with her so she's like the one that i'm like i'll defend her you know but everybody else i'm just keeping it real it's just my honest opinion but i will say in jeffrey's defense working with a packaging manufacturer they do bring a bunch of products that they may have previously worked with before because they do own the rights to that you get me they own the rights as far as the shape and stuff like that so if you guys look at the conspiracy video with shane dawson in it he does pull out that palette and it does say you know lorac on it it's the actual palette it literally says lorac the royal um the royal full face collection whatever it's the full-on thing you guys, I've had to sign NDAs, obviously, for this. I'm actually surprised that he didn't have to, like, blur it um, because I did have to sign NDAs. But I was brought other brands' things, too, to look at because you guys can, say, for example, take this bottle right here. Say, for example, I like this bottle. I reach out to the um, actual maker of the bottle, and then they just change the coloring. They change the packaging. They change the print. They change the font. All those things, they do it to my liking. I'll have my graphic artist do a rendering of it, send it to them, and then they'll customize it. But that glass bottle is technically whoever owns you know the rights to that bottle and i could just make it customizable you get me so it does suck in that aspect if somebody does bring something to you and you're like oh i like this 
And then obviously, you know, you do get a little bit of an inspiration about it. That's why I say I can see him getting inspired by it. But I wouldn't say that he's like ripping it off because it's completely different tones and it's a palette, you know. Anyways, this is where I will say and I could understand where people are saying, you know, he's a little bit of a hypocrite is because let's keep it really real here. And I said this years ago, you guys. Um, this this tweet because it's being brought up so many people are bringing up this old tweet and I actually saw this on um, Twitter like if you type in Jeffree Star it'll pop up on there and people are bringing up this like old tweet that he had and it said I gotta know one thing with all that effing money she's made why did at Kylie Cosmetics use the same packaging as my liquid lipsticks that have been out since 2014 invest and make make something different maybe and this is the thing that I would be like okay Loki he, he's kind of looking a little <laughs> he's stirring the pot okay let's keep it real he knows what he's doing in the aspect of marketing that's why everyone has always said as soon as he's gonna come out with the collection he makes some type of drama so that way his name is talked about and that tends to generate sales for him now this is the thing i've talked about it several times i've talked about it on my live before too the packaging that he has for his liquid lipsticks he was not the first person to have that uh just being straight up just being real call me a jeffrey hater if you want but i'm just being honest dose of colors was the first one that i've known of before jeffrey before jeffrey's line was out dose of colors was out and they have that same exact packaging and here's the thing a lot of people may not notice the same thing or may not notice it being the same component because everyone makes it different like say for example with those of colors i believe they're like white with silver on the top and then you know their little design on the side and jeffrey's is like with stars on the side and different colors and things like that and then look at kylie jenner's for her concealers it's silver at the top and silver around the band like you know what i mean you customize the same exact container to make it look a little bit different and that's what i think is with the 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 royal the the royal look at me calling it the royal palette the bloodless palette i feel like it was along the same lines i feel like people go a little bit too harsh you know and somebody not even somebody a lot of people on the internet just look for any little type of type of thing to just pounce on somebody just because they have a lot of like built up frustration within themselves and i feel like this was a perfect opportunity for them to be like jeffrey you're such a hypocrite you're so shady you're copying you're stealing and i'm just kind of like it's two totally different things you know what i mean it's two totally different things um and bringing up this tweet from 2017 like i said it will probably make jeffrey look a little bit like a hypocrite because he was not the first person to have that packaging out and that's a fact he was not you guys can do the research for um dose of colors i do believe they were the first ones to have that packaging i'm not 100 sure but y'all working with plastic manufacturers that that component that they have is super super common so many brands have it like i said dose of colors kylie cosmetics jeffrey i believe like makeup monsters um so many brands have that same exact packaging you guys can obviously look at it you know if you want anyways overall I don't feel like it's stealing. I feel like, if anything, inspired by. Because when you say something stealing, look at Huda Beauty and ColourPop. The same exact pastels. Like, come on. Like, things like that. That, to me, is stealing. Not something that's, oh, this is a full face collection and you have a palette. It's two totally different things, you know? Sorry, I keep pulling this beanie up because my head is so fat. I'm just like, why is it rolling up? <laughs> All right, you guys. So, that's it for today's video. Um... You guys leave me your guys' thoughts and opinions on it down below. Like, do you really think it was stealing or do you think it was just inspired by? I don't know. I feel like this day and age, it's kind of hard to talk about anything because I feel like if you side with Jeffrey, you're just defending him. And then if you go over here, you're just a Jeffrey hater. And it's just like, oof. It's really hard to just have your, you know, your little mutual opinion when people on each side are always talking. But that's my little two cents on it. And I want to hear your two cents. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I really want to know if you guys feel like he according to the reddit stole and ripped off i want to know what you guys feel about that because i do feel like that's a little harsh hexagon palettes are a thing they've been a thing so i wouldn't say that it's stealing but that's just my two cents all right you guys i'll hit you up i'll hit you up what am i talking about <laughs> I was thinking I was on the phone right now. I'll hit you up. Oh, gosh. You guys, I'm sorry. It's really, really late right now. And I got to go to sleep. So I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>